Caroline Player Thomas, thank you so much again for watching. So we're going to do another skill video and today we're going to learn how to remove surgical sutures. So what we need to do first of all is we need to wash our hands and we, all, we need to apply gloves. Now this is a clean procedure, it's not sterile, so we can just use the regular gloves that are in the rooms. Then before you start anything, just like when you remove the staples, you want to look at the wound. The surgical wound should be slightly pink, mostly together. There should be no tremendous amount of redness or swelling. There definitely should not be any bleeding. And it really shouldn't be very painful for the patient either. So you need to be careful in patients with peripheral vascular disease because they have poor circulation and the healing is impaired. And you also need to be um, careful with patients with diabetes because they have poor healing in their tissue, especially their lower extremities. So let's get started. Oh, just so you know, I put it on a paper bag just so you could see it a little bit better. So I hope that you enjoy it. Okay guys, so let's get started. I put four sutures in and I made them a little bit big so hopefully you can see it clearly. What you want to do before you start is measure the actual incision and like I said, make sure there's no excessive redness. It should just be slightly pink around here and it really should be intact. There definitely should be no bleeding, no pus, anything like that. So then you get a suture removal kit and let's open that up. In the suture removal kit, you will find some tweezers. These are the scissors. And then you have some alcohol. So what you can do, you can rub the alcohol on there, make sure it's nice and clean. Just in case there is a little bleeding, it does come with a, a piece of gauze. So first, you're going to count one, two, three, four. We have four sutures. And if you wanna wait till the end, you can count at the end too. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull up and then you're going to cut and then you're going to pull it out. But make sure that the side you're pulling out is the one without the knot, just like that. So there's one, and we're going to pull up and come up again, just like that. So now we go to get the third one, and we cut here, and finally the fourth one. Now it's really easy when your patient has four sutures. A little bit of a different story when they have 26 or... 20 year. <laughs> okay, so that's it. After this, whatever the doctor orders, they usually order Steri strips. So we get our Steri strips, and then I like to put, like I said before, I like to put the skin prep around the outside. It's it looks like an alcohol swab, and that just makes the stay a little bit better. And then you lift like this. Make sure the incision is going to be in the middle. And you go down like this. And perfect. So you just tell your patient that they can shower. They should not immerse themselves in water. But they can get it wet. It's okay. Just no direct soap, no direct water. And then they can just pat it dry and just let them fall off as as they do, uh, naturally. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy that. If you guys wanna see more skills videos, just give this video a thumbs up, post a comment, let me know, and I can't wait to see you guys in the future.